All right, I didn't get very far with my bartering, but I did get something. I got this pen. It works. It's nice. It's from my friend from Netherlands. Uh, that was just 15 minutes, four trades, but let's meet a guy who started with one red paper clip, ended up with a house. Yes, a house in just 14 trades. Kyle McDonald, author of One Red Paper Clip, joins me. Kyle, great to see you. I want everyone to see how you were able to get a house for free uh, by bartering with a paper clip. Let's take a look. One red paper clip, one house, one year. I traded one red paper clip for one fish pen, which I traded for one doorknob. I traded the cube van for a recording contract. One year of rent in Phoenix. Traded the year of rent in Phoenix for an afternoon with Alice Cooper. Oh, that you know, I just couldn't take this without giving you something back. Which I traded for one kiss snow globe. Which I traded for one role in a movie. Wh what you got in there, Marcus? Chopped liver on toasted rye with onions. Start small, think big, and have fun. And that's all I've done. Absolutely amazing, Kyle, to see that story. And it's all in your book here. One, and see, there's the paper clip right there. Um, what are you doing with the house now? That You started with the paper clip, you end up with a house. So what are you doing with the house now? Well, we moved into the house, and then a couple years later, we realized that uh, we wanted to live near our family. So we moved back to uh, near my wife's family. And the house now is uh, called the Paperclip Cottage Cafe. It's in Kipling, Saskatchewan, and it's a tourist attraction cafe, arguably the most famous house in Kipling. Yeah, I would think so, right? Now, in, in all these trades, was, was there any money exchanging hands anywhere along the lines? No, that was the goal. I would start with something small, like, you know, a red paper clip, and just trade it uh, for something bigger and better, and just not actually use money for the intermediate, you know, intermediary trade items, just to see, like, as a, a challenge, see how far I could get. And, uh, yeah, 14 trades a year later wound up with the house. It was really, really fun. Do you still barter? All the time, yeah. I'm in New York City right now with a backpack full of business cards slash patches. If anybody wants to trade, I'm, I'm looking to make trades. <laughs> and and what, what's, I mean, there's got to be a lesson here, right, for, for everybody. I mean, not everyone's going to be able to do what you did, right? Or, or could we? I think if you have the right idea, you can make it happen. And, and that's the message. You know, start your idea. If you have a red paper clip, a quote-unquote metaphor for an idea, get out there and trade it away. Don't hold on to it forever. Uh, tell people about it. Exchange with people. And if you don't actually start making your dreams happen, they won't happen. So I, I, I was lucky, but I kind of worked to make that luck happen. Good stuff, Kyle. Thanks so much. I got this pen here. I'm going to see what I'm going to do. This is my red paper clip right here. Thanks so Chalk much, Kyle. Liver, chopped liver on pork rye. <laughs> there you go. All right. Kyle showed us how we can ses successfully barter up. He made it all the way home to a new house, right? Next, we meet two guys who have not only turned bartering into a successful